Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the stock WordPress dashboard and all the stuff that you can do within the dashboard. Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually back up your WordPress site through your hosting account cPanel. Backing up your WordPress site involves two steps. You have to back up all the files and folders. That's the first step. And the second step is you have to back up the database. So in our hosting account, in this case I'm using HostGator, your hosting account will look similar. You'll have all the same options if you have cPanel. They might look a little different, but all the same options should be there. So first you're gonna back up all the files and folders. Now what you wanna do is scroll down to where you see the file manager option, which is right here. Click on that and then open the document root for the website that you wanna back up. Here we are on the document root. Now to back up all these folders, I like to do it the quick and easy way. I click on the very first item, I scroll down to the bottom, hold down the shift key, and then click on the very last one to select all of them. And then I click on the compress option at the top. And I choose zip archive for my compression. And I change the name to what it is that I'm backing up usually have the website name and the word backup and then the date whatever the date is whenever you're doing it and then I click on compress files so I will pause this video and I'll come back when the zip file has been created oh look it's done already didn't even have to go anywhere that was pretty quick so here it shows the results of compression you don't really need to worry about those all you gotta do is click on close on the bottom or the X in the top left and then click on the reload button and you will see your backup right here as a zip file. Now what you want to do with this is download it. So when you click on it to highlight it, you can click on download up here in the menu. And after you click on that, a little dialog box will open asking you where you want to save it. And just save it wherever you know you're going to find it. It doesn't really matter as long as you know where it is. And depending on the size of your site and the speed of your internet connection and maybe quick or slow to download, but once that is downloaded, you have all your site files and folders backed up. And then the next thing you want to do, if you have multiple websites on your hosting account, you want to find out what the database name is of the current website you're backing up. You can find that in the config file, in case you don't know it off by heart. In the config file, we have a DB name option. So in this case, my DB name is flowerpots for this demo site. We're going to need that information very quickly. So we go back to our cPanel, then we scroll down a bit further below the file manager where we were, and we find the PHP My Admin option, which is where we will go to back up the database. Some hosting accounts will automatically log you into the PHP My Admin, others will have you enter another password and username to enter the PHP My Admin. HostGator is fairly lax when it comes to that, so it logs you right in. On the left hand side, when you open up all the databases, I'm looking for the one called Flower Pots, which is right here. So click on the database that is your website, and then you'll see a list of all the tables in that database. And we want to go and choose the Export button at the very top. On the next page, you can just use the Quick Export. You can go through the custom one if you know a little bit more about what you're doing. And if you're doing a site backup, I recommend you just do a quick backup which backs up everything. And you want to keep the format in SQL because that's the easiest to upload later on. So after you choose Quick and SQL, click on Go. And then again, you get the Save File dialog box. I'm just going to save it in the downloads again. And now we have our two files right here. We have the flowerpots.sql database backed up. And we have the backup of the files and the folders. So in another video, I'm going to show you how you can restore a website with that backed up information. So in this video, you learn how to manually back up a site via your hosting account cPanel. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you like this video and share it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out WPLearningLab.com where we post WordPress tutorials every single day. I'll talk to you soon.